Let's search the testing ground and get the hell out of here. We need to deliver Petrov's head. Petrov. ASAP. Keep your eyes peeled, comrade. Major, there's more to Sahlin than meets the eye. We can deal with that. The other places weren't exactly a walk in the park, you know.
Enough is enough. Along with the might of the Soviet army, our great nation's climate is regarded as one of the decisive factors that thwarted invading Western powers time and time again. However, Soviet scientists have now demonstrated that low temperatures also protect against diseases and epidemics. Acting as a natural filter, frost removes dust particles from the air and promptly kills airborne viruses, bacteria, and allergens. Only frosty air can be safe. Completely wholesome. Cold temperatures also stimulate the immune system. This is why this workshop is de- Relating the cold environments of the USSR 
to help study the effects. Boom. Of low temperatures.
What will it be, mate? To help advance gravitational wave astronomy, the USSR Academy of Sciences has decided to set up a groundbreaking new testing site for the training of gravitational astronomers who will observe interstellar phenomena from Earth and from space. This building houses Facility 3826's training center for cosmonaut astronomers or cosmonomers. Here, young Soviet heroes to be trained to overcome and at the same time exploit the gravitational pull of our planet while avoiding high power gravitational waves and radiation that could be harmful to the human body.
Access granted.
receiving data.
that gearhead? Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all... ...of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. <laughs> Yeah, fuck! 
Ted! Right? Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about it. Entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? I'm not a member of collective. How can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so... About the rings. I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. <laughs> There's gotta be more to it than this. Fuck off, you prick!
Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. <clears throat> Where's your fucking button?
a fucking leap of faith. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. Swap. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit. Pressure on it, now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your jobs. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, comrade colonel. The polymer needs to... Absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. Autolysis starts approximately seven to ten minutes after death, followed by defecation in three to five minutes. Rigor mortis sets in five to six hours. Then let me see. Complete decomposition in about five years. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. But obviously, I'm a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. Give or take 535 to 650 days in current conditions. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov Complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, 
Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Fading data.